Hi, my name is Jim from Custom Poker Huts and in this video I'm gonna do an in-depth demonstration of the M1 MTT HUD of CustomPokerHuts.com. Let's start with the basic stats. You can find them in the second line. From left to right we have VPIP, PFR, 3-bet and Fold to 3-bet. When you click on either VPIP or PFR, the preflop basic stats pop-up appears, which shows the positional stats of race first in, fold to 3-bet, 3-bet, fold to 4-bet and call a 2-bet. When clicking on the 3-bet stat, the 3-bet pop-up appears. In this pop-up you can find the info you need when facing preflop 3-bet. Here you can find in the yellow the 3 bet numbers for each position versus each position. In red, the fold to 4 bet numbers with total fold to 4 bet, fold to cold 4 bet, and fold to 4 bet after 3 betting a player who isos a limper. In the blue area, you can find the positional numbers for squeeze and fold to 4 bet after squeeze, and in the green zone are the late position fold to 4 bet numbers, how much button folds versus a cutoff 4 bet, and how much the big blind and small blind fold to a 4 bet after 3 betting a late position steal. When clicking on the fold to 3 bet stat, the fold to 4 bet pop up will open. Here you will find how much a player folds to 4 bet at different effective stack depths and positions. It's important to know who is capable of 3-bet folding with shallower stack sizes in online tournaments. The next line is the post-flop line. C-bet flop, fold to flop C-bet, total fold to turn bet and total fold to river bet. Since sample sizes are small for post-flop stats in tournaments, we made these global post-flop stats in an easy to use in-game way to figure out post-flop pair tendencies. When clicking on either one of the post-flop stats, the post-flop pop-up appears, where you can find more in-depth post-flop statistics. Seabed, fold to race after seabetting, fold to delayed seabed in and out of position, float bet and fold to float bet. Fold to seabed in position and out of position, fold to probe bet, fold to float bet, dunk bet, fold to race after making a dunk bet, on flop, turn and river. On the bottom line you can see the race first in numbers for early position, middle position, cutoff, button and small blind. On the top line you can find the player name, amount of hands, fold to resteal and fold to 3-bet from early positions. Did you ever wondered how much a player folds to 3-bet when he min races with 12 big blinds or when he made a 3x open with 20 big blinds? Well, you can see that info when clicking on the fold to resteal stat. Here you can see how much a player folds to a 3-bet at various different stack depths including 10 till 12 and 12 till 15 big blinds deep. Plus, you can see how much they folded when using a specific bet size at each specific stack depth. This is for middle position until the button. When clicking on the fold to 3-bet from early positions, you can see the same pop-up, but filtered only for early positions. Finally, there is the main pop-up. You can access the main pop-up by clicking on any stat that has no individual pop-up assigned to it. Or just click on the black empty area on the HUD. The main pop-up is used for turn and river decisions and blind versus blind play. For the river decisions we have one at showdown based on betting line and the one at showdown based on river bet sizing. These pop-ups will help you make exploitative faults or calls based on the info it provides. The one at showdown based on betting line shows how much a player won when he triple barreled, bet checked bet, check check betted, check bet betted or check betted in and out of position. At the bottom part you can find how much a player won at showdown when he dunk betted or check raised any given street. The one at showdown based on betting sizes shows you how much a player won at showdown when he betted a specific size in percentage of the pot from less than 25% pot to over bets bigger than 150% pot. And on the bottom how much he won raised the river in and out of possession. 
Finally, we have the blind versus blind pop-ups, where you can find the info you need when playing big blind versus small blind. In the big blind pop-up, you can find how much the big blind calls, faults, and three bets facing a steal from the small blind, and how much he faults to four bet, raises versus small blind, limp, and faults to limp re-raise. In the small blind pop-up, you can find the steal from small blind percentage, fault to 3-bet and fault to 5-bet. And the limp, limp fault, limp call and limp raise percentage from small blinds. Okay, so that's it for this video. Keep in mind, you can buy this M1 MTT hut right now at custompokerhuts.com and also keep in mind that it's at a discounted price. So check out custompokerhuts.com. So thanks for watching and see you another time.